Hello to everyone expecting the new season of Dumbraken. I know I said that the podcast was dropping today, but I ended up having a very busy April, and I don't quite have it where I want it yet, and whilst we have recorded some absolutely killer stuff, I haven't had time to actually edit it, because I'm just one person trying to make the best stuff he can from his and his friends' kitchens. (laughs) But you won't have long to wait for season two, as I'm only pushing the release back until next week. So on the 5th of May, Dunbracken returns with Season 2. And oh boy, is it Season 2. So to satiate you until then, we have a scene that takes place in a battering ram shop of all places with Patrick Meyer, Laura Conlon and Connor Reddick along with me. But yes, that is everything. Uh, Tuesday the 5th of April, Dunbracken returns. And can I uh, get that as a grande, if that's okay? Um, and then, yeah, uh, do you have Wi-Fi? We do. Sorry, I just want to get this. You want the largest battering ram? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, I, I've, I've not got from you before, so I'm just kind of going on. All the words sound big. That's true. A uh, grande battering ram. So that would be taking out, essentially, this would be if you're going to take out a vault. I don't know if you need that. Oh, like so what a is it you're, bank. Yeah, what is it you're trying to open? Uh, I'm actually trying to destroy something. Oh, well, that'll make things easier, actually. What is it you're trying to destroy? Actually, it's a cost of coffee. Cost of coffee? Yeah. Uh, you should probably be able to do a venti, then. A venti battering ram, that should... Okay. It's not fully built yet, but I don't want them to reach completion. Oh, then we'll go one lower. You won't need a full... But I think the foundations are in. So I, I don't know. It's my first time destroying a chain cafe. Mm, we'll go for Venti just in case. But if okay. it turns out it was more powerful than you need it, I am willing to give you a refund. Oh, that's really that's really generous of you. Um, Yeah, no, uh, that's great. This has been like such a nice experience because I felt intimidated coming in here because I've not... No, of course, it's a lot of medieval. I've not from here before and like your menu's pretty complicated and... Mm-hmm. It's a lot of medieval, confusing words. Uh, there's different sizes for everything, so... Um, you sure you don't want this morning star? No, but I, I'm not going to get a trebuchet, but I think my brother-in-law is looking at one, so... I mean, Oh, give him my number. I will. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I totally will. Um, uh, and yeah, I will just one last go on the morning star because if, if one of those workers does try and stop you, this might be useful to hit them with. It's a ball with spikes in the head. Even if they have a hard hat, those spikes can go right through that. Uh, um, I want to do damage to the building. I don't think I want to do damage to people. Fair enough. It's probably going to be a nighttime attack. Mm, okay, yeah, no, I, I get shy. No, that's fair. Do you want a lantern? You know what? I'll, for free, I will attach a small candle holder oh my God, that's onto so the battering ram, onto the back of it, because if it was in the front, then it would fall off. I didn't quickly. think that this would have accessories, but that's... No, there's little holes throughout it where I can add like little things you need. Is there anything, any other modular pieces that you can put on? Oh, if I'm giving you the candle, I suppose I could do, uh, I could sand down the left side of it, because I don't know if... That's, that's the side that I usually hold most often. So if I sand that down, it gives it a oh. nice little feel. See, I've, I've not done it before, so I don't know. Like, mm. I'm normally dominant with my right hand, but I, I know if that these not, things if, can... If this is your first time taking... I would say we'll just keep it pretty standard then. The candle's fine, but after that, I don't, wouldn't go as far as... For example, I wouldn't add the spike to the end of it. Mm. That's um, for your more high-class third jobs and stuff. Do you have anything that's, like... It's not necessarily, like, cup holder, but, like... I mean... I. A spray paint can is effectively the same shape as some cups. Mm, um, uh, spray I, paint. I don't, again, I don't know if this is like commonplace for whenever you're taking down a cafe chain before it's been fully built. Um, well, see, the thing I is, I just want to be over prepared, I think. Yeah, and if yeah. I can have more stuff in my arsenal by like having these kind of modular components and the accessories, then. And I mean, I why could not? sell you the spray can as an easy fix on our end, but I do think if you're going to use a spray can and then knock down a building, it seems pretty pointless. And I could make a seal for that, and I could make more money, but it doesn't seem like you actually need the spray can. So. I was thinking, like, and like maybe you've seen people do this before, so you can advise me, like, leaving a remaining wall and then, like, putting some, oh. like, maybe poetry or something up. Wow. Um, because uh, my, my Tumblr isn't getting that many views, and I, I don't want them to track concern- them back to me immediately, but I still want to put something of myself out there mm. to, like, make it individualistic, I think. So I had a guy in... About two months ago, who wanted to leave a wall up, he tried to knock down a McDonald's, wanted to mm. leave a wall up, and did. And then a Burger King saw that one wall and were like, we can work with this. So now they just sell out of a wall. That's what I was worried so about. So I don't think you should leave the wall. That's okay. No, that, that's all right. I think 
because I know now that I'm coming in under my original budget, mm. I was willing to add like of course a yeah. lot more gimmicks on. Yeah. Um, but honestly, a lot of these gimmicks are flashy, but they're no substance to them. I think you just need this little horse. Yeah, take the little horse. I'll pay for it. Like, don't even oh, yeah, worry no, about giving yeah, it for no. free. All the rest are gimmicks, but the little horse to carry the battering ram until you're finally ready. That's that's what I would say is your best. I mean, it can run into the wall too. Can I size up a horse? I, I think this one's too cute. I will get attached and then they will be able to identify you me can, because oh, I can, have a horse. You can return the horse to us if you don't want to. Horse rental. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The horses, we're not selling them. It turns out that was illegal. Oh. Yeah. The rest of the stuff's perfectly legal though. So. What if I get emotionally attached? Can I come visit the horse? I mean, if you give us it in cash, you can keep the horse. It's not, it's only illegal if we put it on the books. We'll just right, say okay. the horse died. Shopkeep? Yes. Could I ask you a question, please? Mm hmm. I'm looking for some advice on a battering ram. Wonderful, you've came to the right place. I sell, bat- 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 I sell those. Well, let me tell you what I've got in mind. Mm-hmm. You know the crypt back of the graveyard? Oh, yes. Oh, which ones? Uh, the large cream one with the steel doors. Large cream steel doors. Interesting. Okay. Some bad men buried in there. Mm. Real bad men. You're thinking that you could uh, make, make sure the they never rise or. Yeah, okay. Never rise? Well, I'm looking to rise. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You want to check it out, right? You all you need, to, all we need from is to get in. Is what I'm hearing. I need to get in. I need to get them out, and we need to get them to haunt my dad's house. Wonderful, right? Well, I can do this for you. Okay, you see this little horse? That's not for you. Oh, that's, that's for, for another me. customer. Yes, uh, I can do a larger horse. Okay, two times the size of this horse. Now, I'm not sure if, you can, if you're picturing that right. It's two times the size. It's not just a larger horse. It's a much bigger horse. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, that feeds in well to my other hobby of collecting horses, but I don't see how it's going to help me with this crypt. Well, it's going to carry the largest battering ram I have because this crypt, I know the one you're talking about, mm-hmm. cream steel doors. Cream steel doors. There's two sets of steel doors in there because okay. you're not the first person to go in there. What? What? You're, you're, not, you're the third person to go in there, so they keep adding doors. At first, they didn't have a door, so that's why there's only two doors. So the ghost's... Might already be out. They might already be out, but we don't know. Sorry, I, I, I couldn't help but over here. Um, now, this is actually a common misconception, but the crypts trap the ghosts? Yeah, I, I know. He's wanting to take the crypts, the ghosts from the crypts. Take oh, them around apologies, my dad's. Apologies, I misunderstood. But can I give you a pro tip? Don't go for a steel door. Go for the stone wall. It's so much weaker than a steel door. Oh my god, he gives so much better advice than you, shopkeep. And you know what? I can hook you up with a battering ram just across the street here. All wait right. a minute, wait a minute. Ah, hey! I just got a little bit of hey, business to do here John, regarding a... John, a get out of here. Get out of here, John. You're not allowed in here after you keep... I, I will get out of here and I'll take your customer. And you know what? I have much cuter ponies than that. If you want to get attached to a pony, I, I've got the cutest ponies you can imagine. I quite like the Shetland. That's fair. I think it's imprinted on you. Anyway, oh yeah, it's if, you want, if you want to break into a crypt, uh-huh. I've already helped two men. I can help you too. God damn it. Do you know... Do you maybe know any other crypts full of bob men? I feel like all the bad men have already been allowed out of this crypt. I really want to scare my dad. Okay, here's the deal. You're, you're, you're looking for an existing crypt. What you want to do? Uh-huh. There's a funeral three weeks from now. Who died? They're not there yet. <laughs> I, I, got a, I got a hot tip. Is it a bad guy? Oh, it's the worst. How bad? Oh, it's a um, serial horse thief. Uh-uh. It's, that's my dad. Oh, I've said too much. I can't use... My dad's gonna... What? Hear me out. What if you build a crypt around his house and then he is a ghost? Love it. He can't help you build a crypt. He only knows how to destroy them. That's out of my purview. Okay. I'm going to leave this shop. I'm going to buy one pony from you. I'm going to have a look at your ponies and then I'm going straight to the stonemasons. You're going to want my ponies. It's going to take... It's okay. I have a return policy. So if you do like his uh, annoyingly, but you can return mine if you prefer his. Very fair business you run. I don't like it, but I'm honest. We probably have a return policy, but no one's ever taken advantage of it. Reflects well on your horses. Yes. Dolls. I'm sorry, can you ring me up? Do you just want to go with John? No, no offense, John. Our I've Wi-Fi had... password is who let the ghosts out. <laughs> <laughs>